everyone has an idea about music, what music is, what music is not. We often even hear that is not music, and as I witnessed many times, that is noise. Another reaction to music, often due to unfamiliarity with the music in question. Due to the music education most of us have received, our brains are hardwired some concepts in music, such as rhythm, melody, and uh, emotional narrative. These are all brilliant things, however, not, not all the components need to be used in the way that we know them for something to be music. Like a lot of modern art, we composers can draw with all colors we want in order to paint the picture that we want. This means that the instruments we use nowadays are not limited either. Why are most ideas about music still so limited? Why can't there be more sound colors than we are used to? Why is it so hard to accept unfamiliar sounds in music? Most of the time, 90% of people I meet find it cool that I'm a local composer, which leads to a very philosophical question. Why am I still poor? <laughs> As I said, everyone has an idea about music, and they do not always match. I'm sure everyone in this room has seen music stays before, haven't you? I think these five horizontal lines, which we use to write music on, are a very functional tool for composing, documenting, and sharing music. However, this tool requires certain perceptions and parameters to work with, such as certain pitches or frequencies in certain time. And also, it's a fantastic, excellent organizer, which has a direct effect on aesthetics and expectations. The question I have is, Western music practices for composition cannot be the only way to create music, don't you think? That was a seriously confident nod, sir. Thank you. As a modern composer, I use all colors, tools, and imagination available to me to achieve my painted modern canvas. More importantly, I'm eager to share the tools and colors with people around me so that anyone can make their music too. Let me tell you a story. What convinced me that we, there should be other ways to write or make music? Almost nine years ago, I designed a user interface, a theremin-like instrument, so to speak. I used a trackpad of a laptop for pitch and velocity. Therefore, anyone who could touch on the trackpad could easily produce loud or quiet pitches. I showed this to my grandmother and got her to try it out. The reaction of my grandmother, who never had any music, music education, was suffering from Parkinson's disease for a long time, was immense. The joy on her face was spectacular, something I won't forget. And that was my Eureka moment, the moment which led to my lifelong passion for making music composition accessible to all walks of life. Especially, what if one cannot afford to go or attend any music conservatories to learn about Eurogenetic music culture? Or what if one cannot afford to buy what I call conventionally well-known musical instruments? What if one had great ideas, but conventional composition methods are too limited for those ideas to become audible and visible? Then what? When the pandemic hit us so hard, the lockdown proved that the world of performance arts was indeed very fragile. During that time, I started to learn Python coding language. As a part-time comedian, I'm also a big fan of Monty Python. So, <laughs> I learned the basics, I think, pretty quickly. With the power of open source technologies available, I'm working on an ongoing project which is based on media pipe libraries and open computer vision frameworks. Technically, the software tracks a human hand, any human hand, and coordinates in real time through a webcam and maps the coordinates 
for sound production. Let me show it to you. So as you can see, the nodes of my fingers and my hand anatomy are being tracked by the webcam. And it carries the captured data to another software which handles the audio. What you are hearing is a very small chunk of sound sample, which is a crushed paper recording. However, the manipulation of the sounds creates some interesting and unusual sounds. My fingers are mapped to certain parameters, such as filters, the size of the chunk is playing, playback speed, and reverberation, but I'm not sure, it's, it's not easy to hear right now. And uh, if I start to move closer to webcam, sounds are going to be, beco will become louder and the opposite way and vice versa. So it's really fun to use and to be able to operate with this, you don't need to do anything, just wave your hands in the air and be experimental, I guess. Okay, so... Okay, I'm not playing violin, but thank you very much. I tried. Hello, mom. When this project is finished, <laughs> these sounds can be used on their own, or this technology can be used as an interface for virtual instruments or plugins, allowing people to use their hands to write entire pieces of music by waving them in the air, as I just have shown you. When I shared this ongoing call project, with my teachers at UNT, I was not sure that they felt the same joy as my grandmother did. But their reaction and feedback motivated me to code more and shape this idea even more, especially thanks to my faculty members and my partner Z for their feedback and endless support. I can easily say that. In the near future, this software I'm working on will be available to anyone who wants to discover more produce more interesting sounds or musical narratives via their smartphones or laptops. Any device with a camera could act like a musical instrument. Therefore, anyone can become a composer. I rather think this small project has a lot of potentials. Who knew that you could compose music by simply waving your hands in the air? My ultimate goal, however, is to facilitate making music for people, but making the process more accessible. If you should ask why I'm doing this, it is because I really feel that is time. We find new ways to express what is inside our imagination. And that I believe that this technology will ensure that all the sounds and voices around the world can be heard and shared easily. And the more sounds there are, the more colorful our sound palette will be. The more we will listen to each other, and the more we will be unified by our diversity and not separated. I do believe that we can create different sounds together and we can be all different sounds together. Thank you for your time.